Welcome Wolfnet, this is Coach here coming to you live with a Hextech Wave 3 building review. I want to thank uh, Gale Force 9, Hextech and everybody for getting us this great product. Uh, today we're reviewing three buildings. We're going through, first of all, the Tri-Tower. Uh, these are some really awesome uh, towers. They come in both tan and gray. Windows are all pre-painted. Everything's pre-painted on these miniatures. They got a nice heavy weight to them, so that's really nice on the tabletop. Doesn't slip. The bottom has uh, some felt on it. And they come with bases uh, to fit easily on a hex map. Uh, these are really, really good uh, pieces to throw in. Just if you want some cover, add some height to your battlefield. Uh, they look great. They feel great. Um, as I can tell you, I really hate painting buildings so this is really uh, awesome for Hextech and Gale Force 9 to send us these way send these buildings our, our way um, can't tell you how much uh, I appreciate them sending us these and uh, hopefully everybody goes out and gets some um, the one I really like the most I think is the mega block this thing is super chunky super big um, it's just like a really nice building to take up enough space um, it it's not super high so mechs can still jump to it you know an alpha strike uh it's your jumping half in half that's how high you can jump so this offers a really nice vantage point there's a lot of room to move around it's not like a some of the other towers where you only get one spot to go on so you can really kind of pick and choose pick and choose um like i said the the bottoms have this really nice felt really nice felt on it um in case you don't want to go with the base the next one is the binary towers. Now this is kind of a new revolutionary kind of way of doing towers. As you can see, it's kind of the same as the first few uh, towers. Um, very similar, they're both gray with tan on the outsides, but this time they have a magnet inset, uh, inset in there and you can magnetize these two sky bridges. And it's really kind of neat because they come with uh, two different kind of bridges, but the magnets make them stick right on there uh, a little bit of glue uh, make sure you have the right side of the magnets <laughs> otherwise they won't stick um, but really nice magnets and then the two towers connect and have a really nice groove in them already you don't really need to put the magnets in it but I think it just really helps they include a bunch of magnets for you to do it and it it really helps keep the buildings locked in tight um, there's still a little bit of wiggle room but for the most part once they're magnetized and in there they're really not going to go anywhere um, it just gives a really cool look to your battlefield having a sky bridge like that uh, comes in two sizes a small one and then there's a really this is my favorite uh, it's a really nice long um, sky bridge it's about three in three to four inches long um, and I like this one more just because, um, it creates some separation between the buildings. It gives a really nice, um, kind of drawbridge feel to it. Uh, your mechs can go underneath it. Um, this is a Shiro. He's kind of a big tall boy, so he's not going to quite make it underneath there, but pretty much every other mech is going to be able to go down. You can easily stack, uh, mechs on there if you want, uh, they got a, it's not quite long enough to fit a full hex base on there. Um, but, so technically they wouldn't be able to go on there because the full hex base has to, well, I suppose they could. A little bit of overhang isn't going to hurt anybody. Uh, the shorter bridge isn't quite long enough to fit a full hex in between the two buildings. So if you're going for like a pass, you know, you're, you can fit them in there if your mech goes sideways. So if you're using this terrain to kind of block or inhibit your play, your opponents, you know, how they can go in there, uh, the short bridge is definitely the way to go. If you're not going to use the bridges, they come with these really nice little covers and they just pop right in there. And it's just, they turn into regular towers um, just like that. Uh, they do send enough magnets to magnetize everything. Uh, you don't really need to magnetize these. They kind of just stay in there like they like that they're they're pretty sturdy in there um i will be ended up putting some magnets on there but um overall these these two towers with the bridge i'm really really excited to use these um gale force nines hex tech wave three buildings are amazing i love them i'm definitely going to use them tonight on the thursday night throwdown and just want to thank hex tech and here is your product review from wolfnet have a good day everybody